They've seen a video today that's circulating all over social media. It's from Floyd County and it's two middle school students fighting and a teacher gets in the middle of this fight. Now that thing's going viral and we've seen several instances of this in the past where teachers get caught in the middle of something. Take a look at this one from South Fulton County. You know, and we're seeing more videos like this. It just seems that the classroom is getting extremely dangerous for teachers, and that's not their job. So how do we fix all this? We've got our think tank with us tonight. Of course, Natisha up here with me. We've got Stop Dr. Stephen Green, Superintendent, DeKalb County Schools. Great to see you, Doctor. Good to be here. Verdalia Turner, President of the GFT Teachers Union in Georgia, also a former teacher, or yeah. still a teacher, just not currently teaching. And Andrew George, the class clown, professional comedian with us. Great to see you, Andrew. Thank Thanks you. for being here. All right. So, <laughs> How do we fix this? Well, we have cell phones, thank God, that, and those cell phones tell what's been going on for many, many years. In so it's just we're seeing it now? We're seeing it now. So what do we do? Do we take the, the bad kids and just pull them out and find a special place for them? Well, you know, schools are microcosms of society, and so we're going to have to really get back down to the community. You know, there was a time, and people may not like me saying this, where folk went to church. <laughs> and we live by certain rules, and there were expectations in the community. But now the community is not intact as it was once before. And children are exposed, or young adults are exposed to a lot more than what they used to be exposed to. Well, so just about anything goes. Well, what, what's, what should the teacher do? The, the fight breaks out. We've seen the videos. And some of these teachers, the, the one today, she's an older uh, a woman, and she's in the middle of all this. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I think the kinds of things I agree with uh, the Daily Turner, that the kinds of things that are happening in the community are spewing into the classroom. And uh, that the teacher preparation has not kept up with the kinds of things that teachers are seeing happen. So training is a part of it, how to de-escalate, not necessarily get involved, but de-escalate. I think the training... Because there's no is, obligation for them to step in, right? How, how are parents responding to this? Do they work with the teachers? Do they work with the schools to discipline the kids? <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> well, it, it depends upon the parent, and, mm -hmm. that, and that's another problem. You know, parenting means different things to different people these days. Sometimes children are actually raising themselves. And then there are many parents that just just don't believe what's going on. Yeah. But parents happen to be part of the cure. Of the, they can be part of the cure, but uh, Andrew, you what know, problem? when you see all these videos popping up and going viral, and, yeah, and this isn't make them new. Like, the, we're just, everyone has a camera in their pocket at all so now times we're seeing now. it more. Right. I graduated high school a little over 10 years ago. I saw a lot of good fights. Just no one had a camera in their pocket. I sh that's not not a good fight, you know what I mean. But yeah, a lot I, of I, violent I, thing, you know. But I, a actually, lot of, I mm -hmm. never saw this in my classroom really? growing up. There I, might have been a fight it. after school, yeah. outside right, in the school, schoolyard. But never in the classroom. I feel like kids yard. are so emboldened now, and I don't yeah. know where they're getting this from. So, I, and this is the thing, other thing I've seen, because I feel so bad for the teachers in the middle of it. When there's video of a teacher sitting there doing nothing, right, and it's middle school mm -hmm. students, younger kids, they get criticized. They jump in the middle, and, they, and they're too rough. They get criticized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, but teachers are, are bearing a lot of blame for everything. You know, they're supposed to raise kids and they're supposed to analyze them. They're supposed to be the nurses, et cetera. But uh, the tragic thing is that we are losing our good teachers and many people mm -hmm. don't want to come into the profession. We have a lot of young teachers that don't necessarily know exactly uh, what to do when they're in the classroom. Uh, and I think that we need better preparation for Better programs. preparation. Yeah, right. right, and to my point earlier that some of the things they're presented with, they weren't prepared. That The teacher preparation program did not say this is what you're going to see. This is, and so we're, the school district is, is oftentimes trying to make up for that gap that they didn't receive in their college preparation. Yeah, absolutely. Does that mean All you right. have to give them training for conflict in the classroom? Cool. We're going to continue this. Let's continue wow. this conversation for a few minutes after the show. Can you do that on Facebook Live? Yes, definitely. All right, we'll continue this conversation. In the meantime, it's the last day of summer. So do you like, do you, do you like the summer? Do you want more or are you ready for the fall?